Hello everyone, Rodney Dangerfield Cousin coming to you live via webcam from my parody entertainment show and Mark O'Hara, George Zipperman's attorney and Trayvon Martin is all making my show today. Uh, George Zipperman's lawyer attorney has reported a threatening phone call from a man using racial slurs and other uh, obscene language and uh, you're going to hear the full story after I tell you my disclaimer. Some of the names have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty and some of the pictures have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty. And everything in my parody entertainment show is a parody. It's all science fiction. It's all make-believe. Don't take anything I say seriously. Don't take anything I say personal. Don't try anything I say at home. If you do, check with your attorney first and then still don't do it. I am a professional. No amateur should ever try anything I say. And everything in my parody entertainment show is make-believe and everything I say cannot be verified. If for some reason you disagree with my disclaimer right now, it's a time to get your happy ass off my show immediately. I don't want you to hear a thing I got to say. Now let's get back to this George Zipperman attorney, Mark O'Hara. He is allegedly Irish, but he was raised in New York City. He's an attorney out of New York, but he's living in Florida, and he's representing George Zimmerman, the alleged person that killed Trayvon Martin. And um, some black people, they're really upset. They're really upset. And uh, there, there was another black boy killed by police uh, several year, few years ago uh, named Victor Sheen. He was uh, in a construction area and the police allegedly said, Hey, come here! And uh, he took off on his bicycle. He was weaving. They had him on the camera on the police car and the police was saying, Pull over, police! Pull over, police! And he, he was riding that bicycle and a, a white police officer was following him. I think his name was Gerald Hard. He kept telling him, please pull over police. And he kept riding that bicycle and he's riding on the curb. The police got his car on the curb following him. And uh, he, the police finally pulled a taser, pop, shot him with a taser. And he fell off the bicycle and Officer Gerald Ard run over him, and uh, you know they they found a nine millimeter gun in the boy's pocket, and uh, they they questioned Officer Gerald Ard to ask him did he put that gun in his pocket. He said that uh, he didn't do it. They said, well, you know, the police frequently have what we call throw down guns. Did you throw down a gun in his pocket? He, he said he didn't do it, and uh, some uh, black protesters protested. They wanted Officer Gerald Ard charged with the murder of uh, Victor Sheen. It was on the camera. You can, you can type it in on, on the internet, on your search engine. Uh, Victor Sheen, a 17-year-old boy, uh, running from the police and he was tasered and then run over it. You'll see the video. You'll see the whole video. Uh, the black people, when the police get after them, and white people, some white people, they, they don't want to go to jail. They're scared. They don't want to go to jail. They know that they were doing something wrong. And this Victor Sheen, he was running. He was he was fast on that bicycle, but of course, police had a car, a gun, a billy club, 
and back up, you know. And uh, Officer Gerald Lord said, I need a supervisor on the scene immediately. Supervisor, need supervisor. <laughs> he called for a supervisor. And the black people, you know, they they protested. They, they wanted him charged. You know, they wanted him charged. And uh, anyways, uh, they, they didn't charge him. But uh, this, uh, this uh, George Zimmerman, he, he has been railroaded by the White Devil, the White Devil News, the White Devil Police, the White Devil uh, Prosecutors, they're railroading him. He is as innocent as they come. And, uh, you know, I'm putting this video on, and you can, if you want to see any more of my shows about George Zimmerman, uh, and, and me commentating on them, you can type in George Zimmerman and Rodney Dangerfield Cousin and you'll see all of my shows. I've got some real good shows about in this subject. And um, anyways, I think George Zimmerman's attorney needs to run an ad in the paper that says, if anybody has any evidence to prove my client is innocent, I'll pay you a hundred thousand dollars and I think what's going on is uh, the police are holding back evidence that will clear George Zimmerman that uh, this Trayvon Martin I think he was a gang member he had gang member teeth gold, silver, he was a gang member and um, I I was talking to a black girl where I go to eat, and I said if George, if Trayvon Martin was a gang member, and he was stealing batteries, gold, money, breaking in things, selling gold, and uh, he was fencing it, and they seemed like the police need to go to his parents and say, where, where was he getting all this gold to sell? Where was he getting these batteries that he was selling? Where was he getting these stereos he was selling? I mean, where was he getting all this shit he was selling? And they need to interrogate his parents because black people, they'll cover up for each other. They're a cult. They're a cult. And uh, since, since uh, George Zimmerman has shot Trayvon Martin, there's been a lot of white people around the United States attacked, robbed, beaten, teeth knocked out. And they say it's payback for what George Zimmerman did to Trayvon Martin. They're 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 a cult. They're a cult. And they and um, anyways, I was talking to this black woman where I go to eat, and I said if it was proven that Trayvon Martin was a gang member and he was selling stolen gold, stolen tools, stolen batteries, stolen tires. Where was he getting all this shit that he was selling? And he was using the racial slur. The black people are saying that uh, that uh, uh, George Zimmerman was saying, coon, yeah, there's a coon up in here. There's a coon up in here. You know the racial slur that black people call each other. I'm going to use the word nincompoop. And uh, I think uh, Trayvon Martin was saying, "There's a, there's a, there's a white pick of wood up in here." You know the racial slur blacks call each other. I'm gonna use the word nincompoop. And I think Trayvon Martin was saying, "Yeah, there's a motherfucking nincompoop up in here trying to kill 